Good morning, Creekside Otters. Today is Tuesday, January 16th. I hope that you all had a wonderful long weekend. I had a great weekend. Uh, my birthday was on Saturday and had the opportunity to just hang out with my family and to do some of the things that I love to do, played some board games. We went to uh, the Doe Zone, had dinner, it was excellent. And just had a really good time relaxing and um, trying to stay uh, warm because it was so cold this weekend. So I am feeling pretty good in terms of a check-in. I'm feeling like I'm in the green zone, uh, ready to go, ready for this week. And I'm anxious to see all of you uh, around the building. So I look forward to seeing you. Uh, let's keep our conversation going about perseverance. This month, let's see, what does perseverance look like? On the soccer field, it looks like running your fastest and kicking your hardest, even when you're tired. At the park, it looks like getting back up after falling off the skateboard seven times, which actually I have done. In class, it looks like not giving up on a reading assignment until you finish the whole chapter. Perseverance is what helps us learn new things and reach our goals. Really quick, I want to share with you, I had some submissions from Miss Ose's class, and she submitted three of her students, shared with us and um, what they felt like perseverance was. And this is from Luke, and he said, Perseverance is pushing through challenges and getting better at hard things, like... One time I was sinking in the middle of the pool, but I kept trying and I did it. Must have learned how to work on learning how to swim. And you definitely have to have some perseverance there. Another student, um, I want to stay, uh, I want to stay in my bed, but I have to get up for school. That definitely takes perseverance, right? Doing things even when it gets hard, sometimes getting out of bed, right? Getting ready for the day can be a challenge but we if we can push through it definitely perseverance another student perseverance means pushing yourself through challenges you can work through challenges by keep on trying what's hard for you for example writing is hard for me so i have to work on writing you know and that's one of the best ways to become a good writer is to write and definitely anything that you want to get be good at right you've got to start slow and you've got to uh, push through even when it gets hard. And that's what makes things worth doing. Uh, now, speaking of somebody who's pushed through a lot and worked hard at something, our quote this week uh, is from Michael Jordan, who has often been referred to as one of the greatest of all time basketball players, winning six NBA championships, that's a lot, with the Chicago Bulls. He said this, Obstacles don't have to stop you. If you run into a wall, don't turn around and give up. Figure out how to climb it, go through it, or walk around it. What are some ways you've overcome an obstacle in your life? Maybe pause, talk about that. All right, hopefully you had some time to talk about that as a group, maybe. Um, if not, if you've seen me around the building, share with me. Maybe you've got some thoughts. I would love to hear some examples, things that, that you're experiencing, things that you've done. Uh, this week, let's give a shout out to third and fifth grade. Third grade this week is learning about flexible thinking, while fifth grade is learning about goal setting through character strong and purposeful people. Both of those skills help us push through obstacles and practice perseverance. Keep up the great work. Now, real quick update on Otter Frenzy. I am, I've been to classrooms and everybody's submitting things to me to see and to share. Uh, and I am just excited to see what everybody's doing with Otter Frenzy. Continue 
keeping up, keep continue earning those hexagons, continue uh, practicing the expectations. And then most importantly, like I said last week, most importantly is doing those things, doing the expectations, even when there's not an adult around, right? Following all those things that you know are what you should be doing. Now, I've got some images and pictures and things that people submitted that we're going to share. But first, I wanted to share a couple of things with you that were shared with me that I, it just pictures didn't do it right. So this was given to me uh, by a fourth grade student, uh, well, by fourth graders from Miss Eatson's class. And this super creative, this counted for the assembly create, and sorry, my screen's not working very well. Uh, this counts for the assembly. Now, what this person did was they made all these little origami people. They're adorable, and they've got little faces on them drawn, how they would be sitting as the crowd, and then the adult up here in the assembly. They've got things on the board, some of the expectations. Uh, anyway, just super, just thoughtful way that they presented then created this, you know, rather than going to another assembly or do a mock assembly, they created this this fantastic uh, piece of artwork, really. I love it. Uh, I'm going to have to learn how to uh, fold people like that. That was great. Another one uh, was a Jeopardy game that was created by, and I'm going to move out of the view. Maybe I'll take a picture of this. Disappearing. Uh, let me turn my background up. It's just gray behind me. I'm sorry. Um, there. There's my... There's my mark, my boring gray wall. All right. Now, if you look, this is uh, lunchroom trivia questions. And um, I won't read through them all, but I'm going to hang it up uh, outside and maybe in the hallway so people can get take it. These are just different uh, expectations, things that we should be doing in the lunchroom. And you can check your knowledge, see how you're doing. For instance, how loud should our voices be in the lunchroom? What do you think? Ooh, what do you think? Take a guess. How loud should our voices be in the lunchroom? The, the answer? Level one and two. Ooh, level one and two. I like that. Now, you could do zero. You don't have to talk. But we, we're not shouting, right? Level two is talking to the people at the table that you're sitting at. Love it. That's awesome. That would be ooh, 10 points for you if you got the one. Um, what's another one? Let's see. Love this. Question number four. Uh, when someone drops their trash, what do you do? What do you do? Guess. What do you think? What do you do? Let's see. The And the answer is pick it up. Oh, somebody drops some. Right? Even if it's not yours, let's just keep our space clean. You know, like just pick up trash when you see it. And just that's the, the right thing to do. Um, Okay, this one made me laugh. Down here, question number six. It says, when you are running in the lunchroom, should you, question mark, hmm, what should you, when you're running in the lunchroom, should you A, stop running, B, keep running, or C, slap someone? Mm -hmm. Well, I know some of you were out there are just being funny and saying B and C, but do we know the answer is what? Let me hear it. A, I hope that you all said A, stop running. We don't run in the, in, we don't run in the school, right? Let alone the lunchroom. Um, uh, number seven down here, why do we have rules in the lunchroom? Why do we have the rules in the lunchroom? Their answer, so we can be safe, right? If we, we, if that's why we have rules for the most part. Uh, I wanted to just, again, um, thank you to the fifth graders that created this. This is fantastic from Ms. Alexander's class. Uh, love it so, so much. Um, I hope that you uh, classrooms, classroom teachers, students, this week while you're working on not only your lessons, that you're working on perseverance, you're working on otter frenzy, there's a lot of things going on. And I hope that you will be able to be thoughtful and think about how those things are going to help you to be better learners, better teachers, uh, and better Creekside Otters. I hope that you have a wonderful day, and I will see you around campus. And as always, as always, make it a great day, Otters.
Oh, well, just don't run in the hallway anymore, and then maybe you won't trip. Okay. <laughs> Happy Monday, Otters. I'm watching a football game. I was thinking about what it's like to be an athlete. Maybe some of you are athletes, or maybe some of you are working on your perseverance in sports or school and working on something hard. So we're gonna try a breathing technique. When you are faced with something that's a big challenge and you are feeling a lot of pressure and you want to do well, take some time to do some deep breathing exercises and to focus and allow your body to be able to be calm and able to perform your best like the football players hopefully will to tonight. So we are going to do a very basic breathing exercise today. We are gonna do shoulder rolls, okay? So pretend that you are getting ready for your big game or your big event or your hard project that you're working on and you are gonna calm down and you are gonna sit quietly in your chair. If you'd like to close your eyes, you can do that. We're gonna practice the breathing technique of four breaths in and six breaths out, okay? Six counts out. And you can focus and visualize doing your best on whatever project that you want or game or sport that you are working on. And we're gonna lift our shoulders up with the in breaths and roll them back and as we breathe out and kind of just take that real tense muscles in your shoulders and just relax your whole body. So let's do five of those. Four counts in, bring up your shoulders and release it. And do it again. You can close your eyes if you'd like. Breath in. And breath out, shoulders back and like relax your whole body. Bring those shoulders back up to those ears. And breathe out. See, visualize yourself doing your very best. Two more, breathe in. And breathe out. One more, breathe in. And breathe out. Okay, at this point you can kind of shake out your body. Hopefully your body is all limp like a noodle. That means you're ready and you're focused. And hopefully this will help you to have a great day. Give you, if you run into a time when you're feeling very stressed or worried, you can use those deep belly breaths and those shoulder rolls and relaxing of those muscles to get yourself back into the green zone. Have a great day.